Alright, uh, looking at the description, this one looked like it might just be a, one of the short narrative type ones, so I'm going to run through it and see how it goes. And it'll either, it'll either combine onto the last one or combine onto the next one. Tegwin, I can see her in the mirror. Tegwin, can you hear me? Hold on! She probably can't hear you. Valiant, you're just in time. Karis told us what happened. I've been studying the mirror, but the magic is beyond me. If we are to rescue Tegwin, we will need the Pale Tree's help. Please help me, Mother. Tegwin is my friend. I'm lost without her. She taught me how to be a warden. She taught me everything. I know that I'm not very smart, but she's always been good to me. I can't let her be trapped forever in such a horrible place. My best friend is in terrible danger. I wish she was back in the crate cage. Have courage, my child. The mirror's magic is not unknown to me. Tegwen is still alive, though she is very far away. Don't lose hope, Karis. Tegwen needs us to be brave. Well said. Hope is more powerful than any weapon. It is a light in the darkness, a star to lead us home. To rescue her, you must step through the mirror into Orr and find Tegwen there. Traherne and I will keep the portal open so that you may return. Hurry, Valiant. If Zaitan's servants discover the portal, they could use it to enter the grove. I cannot allow that. I understand, Mother. We will be swift. So much darkness. The mirror's enchantment is powerful. Be brave, my children. I am with you. Go. I'll stay and defend this side of the portal. Should any of the Risen try to enter the grove, they will meet my blades. <laughs> so in other words, you have to go through, do it quickly. If they try to come back, we might just lock the door behind you. And no, this is not going to be a pure narrative mission. It's actually probably ramping up into a rather long one. We've Which got might... to find Tegwin. Please, Pale Tree, let her be safe. Which might just mean three parts in one day. <laughs> but what can you do? So this is all? It's so dead. I've never seen anything so dead. Is that a giant sea urchin? A giant undead sea urchin? <laughs> Is nothing sacred? Ah, what are those things? This place is the horrible. Heck? Can I shoot? I can't. Oh my. They shoot back. Luckily they don't hit very hard. Five damage a rock isn't too bad. They're just annoying. Put the dagger to work. Look out! Oh crap. Karis is around We've to draw to their Tegwin. attention. Please, Pale Tree, let her be safe. Ack. Gotta remember to use my heal more often. It's got a pretty quick recharge, so. Better to make use of it than to die. And we're getting to large getting to larger packs. So the bow is very much useful for that. Ah, spider spiderlings. 
problem is my foe's not very strong anymore either. It's all getting outdated. Ooh, die. That's always a plus. Back. Jeez. Nicely done. At least the lag doesn't seem to be affecting me in here or anymore, or one of the two. I was running into it a little earlier while playing. It is not helpful for avoiding anything. Heck. I'm crippled too. <laughs> We're a bunch of hobbling fools. Thanks for ignoring me while I kill you. I will never have an argument with that. Let's see if I can just snag this one. I can. And she flung something at me. Hmm, there's a lot of these guys. Ah, he stopped. I just realized I've probably been bombarding you with key taps. <laughs> Sorry about that. Once again, that will stop here in about a week or so. I never did figure out a way to just remove them in Audacity. If I worked too hard at using like noise removal and getting rid of that frequency, it seriously altered my voice. Bouncing knife. And he floored me too. It'll be so much easier to manage my initiative once I get all my traits, talents, skills, whatever you want to call them. Although I, I haven't stolen in like a day. I completely forgot about it again. Oof. Ow. Hammers. Ah. Oh crap, I just rolled right into him. Come on. There we go. Ooh, not the hammer. You're not allowed to hit me with that. Sweet and steady. Have a ball. Karis is over there, hopefully not dying. Uh, she's kind of stalemating him. I make a pretty good team. There we go. No, no. You crazy plant chick. Oop, I was out of initiative. Alright, where am I going? I don't know. <laughs> In this area, that's all it tells me.
There's a lot of kiting involved, but the short bow does wonders. At least when she's around to distract them, otherwise stealthing and running around just doesn't really save me, because they come after me anyway. Probably down this direction. There's just enough of a delay to that dodge that makes it very hard to use effectively. At least on anything but big moves. Might and glory. That's the edge of the instance. Okay, not that direction. I can't call Karis back. There's no commands or anything. Alright. It's odd that there's an enemy way out there beyond the instance edge. Seize the moment. Come on, don't I don't want to talk to you. We, we've got to find oh for room. God's sakes. Please Get out of my way. Let her be safe. trying to grab it without getting kicked out. Alright, now- oh! She was right here. She's been hiding behind this wall of boxes. Live well. Hey, got her. Tegwin, I thought we'd never find you. I thought Zaitan was going to chew you up and eat you. Karis, you came after me. Again! Did you touch the mirror too? What were you thinking? At least I knew you were safe in the Caledon Forest. Now we're all trapped here. We're not trapped. Traherne and the Pale Tree are keeping the mirror's portal open, but there isn't much time. If we hurry, we can escape or and arrive safely in the grove. You're not kidding? We can go home. Thank the mother. Karis, Quite literally. You crazy brave girl. Stay close to me. War is not the kind of place that tolerates mistakes. Swiftly, Valiant. Lead the way. I wonder if we're actually going to make it to the portal or if they're going to lock us here. Though they can't really lock us here. Simply because of the this exists alongside the game itself. So I, I could always just have to come back here to continue the storyline. I wouldn't put that past them. I'm gonna have to consider getting one of those poisons that slows and immobilizes. I probably need to go back the way I came, huh? I can't go outside the edge, so... Let us continue down this path. And see if everything's there. dead. There! That's the valley where we started. Um. The portal must be close. Where the fuck's Teglin? Oh, for God's sakes. You should not be that easy to lose. Come on. <laughs> okay. Wow. They are not having a good time on the terrain around here, I guess. I wish they were on my map so I knew they were there. Oop! I love the explosive bolts. Yeah, they're not gonna leave me completely alone, but we'll see if they actually swarm me or not. I don't think they watered this place very well. <laughs> they did. Oh, that's right. Or sank. So yeah, it's been watered very well. No, I don't think. Oh my. There we go. Exploding bolts everywhere. Come on, Tegwin. Don't make me come back after you again. I saw 
eyes in the darkness. The great glowing eyes. <laughs> you can time that to explode whenever you want it to, or just wait until it hits the ground. And it apparently does a lot more damage than my normal shot to these guys. Oh, for God's sakes. They just don't stop. They also don't drop anything. Makes me wonder if I'm supposed to kill them or not. And they keep coming. Yeah, no, I think I'm just supposed to blaze through. But man! The portal. It's been too long. I'm going in after them. Look! Just beyond the surface of the mirror, there's a ripple. It might be them. Come yes, on, you two. There! I see the Tech, valley. What the? I think just I can make out direction. Tegwin. And Karis, too. Have courage, my children. You are almost home. Thank God. Just drag her ass back through the portal. Man. Um. Half cut scene, half not. <laughs> Come on. I don't know if it's stuck or trying to load or what, so... Sorry, just one second here. Don't you dare glitch out on me. There we go. <laughs> Safely home. Now, Traherne, close the portal and we shall all be safe once more. Thank you, Mother. I speak for us all when I say we're glad to be home. That place was foul. Cold and hopeless. Like a murdered soul. I can feel its chill in my spirit. Be at peace, my daughter. You're safe now, and soon the warmth of the grove will cheer you. I keep expecting something to Stay go wrong. Stay near the pale tree for a while, little sister. In time, your spirit will heal again. Trust me, I know this well. The dragon's corruption is a blight that sickens the heart. If we do not stop Zaitan, the entire world will wither and die. I understand what you mean now, Mother. We cannot allow the dragons to exist, even if it costs us our lives. Valiant, I am proud of your courage and your conviction. Though you have seen horrors, you now understand our greatest weapon against them, hope. Thank you, Mother Tree. I will think on this. When you need me again, I will be ready. Oh, uh, it was nothing. Yep, that's the end of that one. You've been through too much. Let us return to Anwen. I don't know if I can face the undead. A visit to Orr has shaken me. Then I'll hold the beach while you find your footing. And when did you become such a fierce warden? You taught me well. <laughs> they just kind of banter back and forth occasionally. Not a full-on cutscene, but... Alright, that will definitely do it for today. I will get all these uploaded to you. I hope you enjoy them, and I will see you all next time. Take care.